Hello and welcome back, anti-financial crime enthusiasts. When we talk about financial crime, we generally discuss anti-money laundering and combating terrorism financing measures. There is one more critical part of the anti-financial crime regime, which is countering proliferation financing. In this video, we will discuss what is proliferation financing and measures to counter PF. To understand the PF, we first need to understand what proliferation is. Proliferation is used in the context of weapons for mass destruction, WMD. Proliferation of WMD refers to the manufacture, acquisition, possession, development, export, transshipment, brokering, transport, transfer, stockpiling, or use of nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons, and related dual-use goods and technologies. The intent of WMD proliferation is to use these materials and weapons for non-legitimate purposes. Let us discuss what is proliferation financing. It refers to the process of raising, moving or making available funds, other assets, or other economic resources, or financing to persons or entities for purposes of WMD proliferation. It also includes the proliferation of the means of delivery for weapons for mass destruction, or related materials, like dual-use goods. To detect and counter the proliferation financing risk, it is important to understand the three stages of the proliferation financing. 1. Fundraising, which may include contributions from the state, or profits from commercial enterprises, or any criminal proceeds. 2. Disguising the funds, moving the collected funds through a complex network, or using shell companies to hide the source and intended purpose. 3. Use for proliferation. Using the funds for procuring materials and technologies for weapons for mass destruction. The regulated entities must assess the PF risk and deploy adequate controls to manage this risk. Some of the key counter-proliferation financing measures are 1. Implementing the targeted financial sanctions regime effectively to screen the customers, including their beneficial owners, and apply TFS measures when a designated person is identified. 2. Applying additional due diligence measures when any proliferation financing related red flags are observed. These enhanced measures include detailed inquiry about the customer's business activities and source of funds understanding the expected end users of any goods or services. 3. The regulated entities must also inquire about and check the TFS policy of the customer. 4. Approval from senior management is to be obtained before conducting any business transaction with such high PF risk customers. Moreover, the regulated entities must apply strict measures, including certain restrictions when engaging with customers from countries listed on the United Nations TFS list in relation to proliferation financing. We believe that the discussion has helped understand the concepts of proliferation financing and implementing the necessary measures to detect and mitigate the WMD proliferation financing risk. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video.